hello friends so let's move on to the next question of problem set the next question is the second question from uh, 10th standard maharashtra board algebra textbook this is problem set and the sum says find the first negative term from the ap such that ap 112 116 110 and so on note find the smallest n such that tn is less than 0 so here we are given the ap here now as you can see this question is a bit tricky question but it is very easy to solve so i will suggest you to take a notebook and sit along with me so that you can solve it along with me so uh, please pause the video for the same then you can play the video so let's observe this ap here if you can see this ap this is a slight different ap all whatever sequences we had in the previous questions all those ap's were in the ascending order that is in the increasing order but this ap is in the descending order as 122 is greater than 116 then 110 is then 116 is greater than 110 and so on so the ap is decreasing so nevertheless we can solve this sum as our uh, normal method so uh, from the ap we uh, whatever we have from the ap we get two default informations that is the first term now here the first term is 112 that is from the ap the common difference d is given as t2 minus t1 here t2 please note that even if it is a decreasing ap we will substitute the values as it is for t2 and t1 it does not matter even if it is a decreasing ap so here the value of t2 is 116 and the value of t1 is 122 so 116 minus 122 would be minus 6 it will not be plus 6 it will be minus 6 because uh, we are concentrating on a bigger uh, we are concentrating on the signs and not on the numbers of and the rules of uh, subtraction then now uh, let's see what are we supposed to find from this ap we are supposed to find the first tn for which n is uh, such uh, first uh, tn for which tn is less than 0 that is tn is negative so uh, we will uh, find the solution here it is very easy a bit tricky but it is very easy so let's see how the solution is now we are supposed to find the uh, first tn for which tn is less than zero that is tn is negative so obviously we will use the formula of tn because we want to find the value of tn so let's use the formula of tn tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d now here we don't know the value of tn we know the value of a we know the value of d and we do not know the value of n so let's substitute whatever we know so therefore we get tn is equals to 112 plus n minus 1 into minus 6 please note that uh, minus 6 is a number and n minus 1 is also a number and the sign between these two is multiplication it is not minus it is multiplication so we can follow the board mass rule here so it goes like this therefore tn is equals to 122 minus 6 n plus 6 i have multiplied minus 6 multiplied by n minus 6 multiplied by n is minus 6n and minus 6 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 6 now i have multiplied these two brackets since there is a plus sign here there will be no uh, problems with the signs inside then here minus 6n is an unlike term but we can certainly add 112 and 6 so let's add that tn is equals to 122 plus 6 uh, so 122 plus 6 is 128 minus 6n so we got a value for tn now uh, this tn value can be used cannot be uh, used anything for anywhere further so let's mark this as equation number one and let's see the given information now here the given information for us is that tn is less than 0 tn should be negative so let's see that when tn is negative what is the condition we are supposed to find uh, tn is negative and uh, when uh, the, for the smallest n 
so when tn is negative whatever rules are applied for equal to sign the same rule can be applied for less than and greater than sign so for an equal to sign if you are taking this 128 on this side then the sign of 128 changes so even if it is a greater than sign and we take 128 on that side then also the sign of 128 will change if you did not understand don't worry i'll show it to you further so here you can see 128 minus 6n is less than 0 that is from 1 i substitute the value of tn from here to here okay so now uh, what is here is uh, i have 128 minus 6n less than 0 uh, if you have doubts in this step please comment on this video so that i can clear your doubts uh, in a vivid way so here I can uh, uh, I can take minus 6n on the other side of this sign that is the less than sign. So if I take minus 6n on that side it would be 128 less than 6n. If minus 6n goes on this side then the sign changes from minus to plus. Now I want the value of n because we are supposed to find the smallest n. So in order to find the value of n, I will keep n on one side of the less than sign. I'll take all the numbers on the other side. So it will be 128 upon 6 which is less than n. Now let's see if I can uh, divide these here. It will be 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12, 6 1s are 6 and 3 is recurring. So I get 21.33 less than n that can be written as n greater than 21.33 i just interchange the values here and that's why this sign is changed to this sign uh, this time n is here and 21.33 is here so here we found the value of n which should be greater than 21.33 for tn to be less than 0 i repeat when you want tn to be negative then the value of n should be greater than 21.33 but here the value of n is a natural number it cannot be any uh, it cannot be in the decimal format it should be a natural number because we will be counting n so and we want the value of smallest n so the smallest number which is greater than 21.33 which is also a natural number is 22 therefore n will be 22 we want i repeat we want the smallest value of n for which tn is negative so for tn is negative the smallest value of n would be 22 because it should be greater than 21.33 and it should be a natural number so n is equal to 22 so we got the value of 20 uh, we got the value of n as 22 now all we have to do is find the term for n is equal to 22 in order to find the term all we need to find is t22 now t22 is given as a plus 22 minus 1 into d i am just writing the form i am just substituting the values according to this formula this formula is repeated here i am just substituting n is equals to 22 so n is equals to 22 we know the value of a that is 112 100 and uh, sorry 122 plus uh, 22 minus 1 into minus 6 the common difference is minus 6 so here it would be 122 plus 21 into minus 6 now uh, I'll just change to the other side of the book now here all we need to do is solve this I'll write it again for you t22 is equals to 122 plus 21 into minus 6 so let's multiply this and see it's 126 so 122 it will be minus 126 it is minus 126 because the sign of 6 is minus here. I just multiplied it by 6. So 21 into minus 6 is minus 126. When I, now all we need to do is 122 minus 126. Now where did this plus go? I uh, The plus is here itself. But when I multiply 21 into minus 6, I get minus 126. Now solving further, we get 122 plus into minus is minus. 126 that's why we got 122 minus 126 so the value of t22 is 122 minus 126 which can be solved further as minus 4 okay therefore the value of t2 is minus 4 i will box the final answer here so it is easy for the examiner so sorry t22 so 
the smallest n for which dn is negative is minus 4. You can view the entire solution from here.